During a dental examination, we physically check the teeth along with visually and also we need x-rays. Each one of them have their own purposes. So we dry the teeth surface to be able to see better and we are going to use our probe to make sure that if there is, let's say, a fissure or a groove, there is nothing sticky and moldy and rotting inside. And if there is, then we go ahead and take an x-ray. X-rays are very, very useful. I would recommend them once every year, once every two years at the latest. The dose of radiation is very, very small, less than a flight from Melbourne to Sydney, so you should be fine taking x-rays. Usually, although talk to your registered dental professional and make sure that they do recommend it. Uh, on the other hand, your oral hygiene plays a very big role in keeping your teeth safe. So have a good oral hygiene at home. So there's a little chip on the tooth and the patient wants it repaired. The dentist is polishing it smooth, then separating the next teeth because you don't want the composite bonding to go and glue everything together. And then they're adding the composite using a blue light and then voila, it's on your teeth, you would have these dental pits and fissures that can catch food and turn into a cavity. Then you need a fill. How do we do dental fillings? So there are spaces between the first front teeth and the dentist is placing composite to be able to show the patient how it's going to look like when we close that gap. That gap is also called a diastema, which is a space between the two front teeth usually. And people don't like it and they want it to be covered. Now, how do we do that? How do we cover that area and close the gap is by composite. In this case, sometimes we can do porcelain veneers. And the difference between composite and porcelain is that the composite is is less expensive but also less durable but also less invasive porcelain on the other hand is usually more work more expensive but lasts longer and it does sometimes need a little bit of tooth structural removal flossing with a dental bridge is very interesting it's like threading a needle you have to go in and then you will pull it to the other side you have to make sure you do that the dentist is replacing an old veneer using composite, which is very interesting to watch because with composite, we can basically just mold it, the shape we want, use a blue light so it polymerizes, then polish it, and it hopefully lasts on average. If you have a good oral hygiene, as in you floss your teeth, you get a scaling and cleaning done once every six months or so, there is no way that you can have this much calculus in your mouth. That calculus... Not any dental cavity can cause the growth of the gum into the tooth. You can see how much of the gum was excess and the dentist has used laser or electrosurgery to remove it. Then they added a wall to the side of the tooth by composite and now they're doing a root canal treatment to fill the root because the infection was all over the place. You have to remember, although this way we are going to keep the tooth for a while, this tooth has weakened a lot. Probably this patient was in pain for a while and now they're getting a lengthy expensive treatment. This is a beginning of an end, as in this tooth will eventually go away and has to be replaced by an implant or another replacement option. To avoid any sort of trouble like this, all you need to do is to have a very good oral hygiene, and see your dentist regularly, take the x-rays they recommend whenever they want to, so they can see under the surface and they can see what's going on. If there is a cavity that's still small and we can manage it, we fill it rather than it breaking, gum regrowing, and you have to do all of this for the sake of saving the tooth. Main benefits of water flossing. Honestly, the main benefit is people who feel lazy flossing, they'll do it more because it's shooting water, it's electric, it's easier. It never replaces actual flossing, physically getting in between your teeth and getting the food out, but it's definitely a help and a complement toward your oral hygiene routine. If you have a missing tooth, you have three options for replacement. Either you will replace it by a removable denture, or a bridge like this that will get glued on to the next seed or an implant. That's very true. If you clean your tongue, your breath stays more fresh.